Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious in my kitchen. Today we're going to make a very classic, cozy, comfy shepherd's pie. One of my favorite dishes to make. I haven't made it in quite a while, but it's fall right now and I am ready to bring this one back. Now you can find it in my cookbook volume one and if you're following along with me if you have my volume one cookbook then it's going to be on page 33 and then i also have volume two okay we're going to go ahead and get started now shepherd's pie has a topping of mashed potatoes on it so that's what we're going to work with first we're going to start off with some red potatoes these are medium size, so I've got about eight of them in a bowl right here with some water. I've peeled them, and then what I'm gonna do is cut these. Now, the smaller you cut them, they cook faster. We're gonna make the potatoes first. While these are boiling, we can start the meat mixture, and then it'll all come together. So I've already rinsed these off. I'm just gonna place these into a large pot. If you're interested in the cookbooks, I will link them down below in the description box of this video, or you can go to my blog, katherinesplates.com, and go to the cookbook tab, and you can find them there. Okay, so I'm just filling the water about one inch above the potatoes. I'm just going to put it on the back burner over high heat. Now you want to flavor your potatoes, so I'm going to add a couple of teaspoons of salt. Give them some nice flavor. About two and a half teaspoons. I'm going to stir that in. Okay, we're going to cook the potatoes until they are fork tender. It should take about 15 to 20 minutes until the potatoes are done. Okay, now that we've got our potatoes boiling what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and chop up my onion and get that ready and it's just a medium yellow onion just taking off the ends I'm going to peel off the outer layer okay I'm just going to take my onion I like to slice the onion and then chop it from there Now you can dice these as small as you want. I just like the nice big pieces. We're gonna saute these down really soft anyway and so they'll give it a nice flavor. To a large skillet, I'm gonna add one tablespoon of some cooking oil. I'm gonna add my chopped onion. I'm gonna cook these for two to three minutes until the onions get nice and soft. onions are nice and soft what I'm gonna do now is add in some garlic just a teaspoon or so it's just minced garlic I'm gonna cook this with the onion for one minute it'll release some nice delicious flavors it already smells so good all right let's see what the rest of the directions call for You're going to want to get one pound of ground beef. This is about one and a quarter pound, so anywhere around that amount. I'm just going to take my meat chopper, break up the ground beef. We're going to cook this until the ground beef is no longer pink and cooked through. Okay, my ground beef is all browned up. What I'm going to do now is just drain it. I've got some paper towels in here. I've just pushed the meat aside and I'm just sopping up any excess grease and removing that. All right, what we're going to do now is add two tablespoons of butter.
and two tablespoons of flour. Now I've just got an all-purpose flour here. I'm going to mix this all together and cook it for two minutes. This is going to aid as a thickener and also as we're cooking it for two minutes it's going to cook that raw flavor out of the flour. checking our potatoes. You just take a fork and just stab them through some of the potatoes and if they're nice and tender then the potatoes are done. So we're going to go ahead. What do you think? I think we're done. Alright, we're going to go ahead and turn off the burner. Let those sit there for just a minute. We're going to drain the potatoes and then we're going to make mashed potatoes out of them here in just a minute. We're going to flavor our ground beef. I have some Worcestershire here. Add about a teaspoon or so. And then you need 10 ounces of some beef broth. Now I'm using some better than bouillon. This is a beef flavor. So I'm just taking some water and I have about one and a half teaspoons of the bouillon in here. I'm just gonna stir it up, get it all combined. And I'm gonna add it to it. I'm going to add some black pepper, about an eighth of a teaspoon. I'm not going to add any salt right now until we give it a taste and see if we need to add any salt to it. We're going to cook this for two minutes. And that will allow the broth to thicken. Okay, our sauce is nice and thickened. What we're going to do is add in our vegetables. Now, I like peas and carrots. So you want to add about one, one and a half cups. And then we're going to add some corn. I got some frozen corn here. We'll add that. Let's go ahead and turn off our burner. And then we're just going to combine this. Oh, it looks really good. Okay, we're going to let this sit here while we drain our potatoes and make the mashed potatoes from that. All right, we drained the potatoes. We're going to go ahead and mash them. Oh, uh, yeah, those are done. Oh, just throw the whole thing in there. <laughs> I said, just put the whole thing in there. I did. All right, four tablespoons of butter going in. Splash of milk. Splash of milk. Some black pepper. And then some salt. We'll give it a try after we mash them all up and see what we need to adjust. Alright, let's start building up our shepherd's pie. We're going to go ahead and take the meat mixture and put it into a 9 by 13 baking dish. All right, I'm just gonna pick it up and just pour it all in. All right, wanna just even it out. All right, now I'm gonna dollop the mashed potatoes all over that meat mixture. Now I'm just going to take a spatula and just smooth it out to cover the meat mixture. Alright, I've got some paprika and I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the mashed potatoes to give it some color. Now this is optional. There we go. Okay, we're going to place this in the oven that's been preheating at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. We're just looking to heat this through. I'll be back, you guys. Okay, we got it out of the oven. Those potatoes are nice and golden. Look at the inside. Oh, that's so delicious. Let me show you the piece that we cut out. Yum. Taking a bite. Mm. 
It's a comforting, classic fall dish. It's so delicious. All these flavors come together so well. Very scrumptious in my book. All right, which is my book right here. All right, you guys, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way, you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Simple, easy, and delicious. I'll see you on the next episode.